This past Saturday, April 8th, 2017, the male flicker died in my hands and I cried. If that seems strange for a 60 plus year old guy to cry at the death of a bird, a wild bird, so be it. But I tell you, we had a very long winter this year. And for me, one of the bright spots every day was sitting by my computer, which is located to a window. I made videos about it, showing it. And out of the corner of my eye, I would glimpse motion, movement, and I'd look and I knew what it was already. The flickers arrived and we had a steady stream of a couple of flickers arriving in the morning. I got to know their habits. I made videos about it, talked about it. The female would land on top there and rappel down the chain every single time. There was no ands, ifs, or buts. And then when the male arrived, he would fly right in and land on the feeder. And I looked up what flickers were because I just thought they were woodpeckers and found more information. And it was such a bright, happy thing. Well, this past Saturday, in the morning, I saw Flicker on the ground, and I didn't think too much of it. Uh, it was hopping around, and I know they go on the ground, and there's no more snow now. So I figured that maybe it was looking for grubs, ants might be coming out or something. Didn't think too much of it, but it, I also detected, just in a small way, that it wasn't itself. It wasn't bouncing around normal. So a little later, Cindy's out in the yard, and she saw the same flicker still bouncing around, and it couldn't fly. So she picked it up and uh, put it into a box. I came out. I checked it over. Its wings weren't broken. I didn't see any uh, places where it might have been scratched by a cat or attacked or had a, you know wounds from pellet or BB guns, nothing like that. It didn't look wounded, but it was getting weaker. There was nothing we could do. We phoned the SPCA. They couldn't react. They didn't have any suggestions. As a matter of fact, the girl said that they could be fledglings. Well, there's no fledglings this more this early in the season. You know, the birds are just starting to be, uh, build their nests. So I wanted to comfort it. And that comes from the fact that whenever the vacuum cleaner is out, our cat is scared. Ralphie gets all scared. So I pick him up, and, and he just buries his head on my shoulder. And, you know, just he wants comfort. So that's what I wanted to give to this bird is comfort. And I knew it was going to die. And it did in my hands. And I cried. This little wild bird had given us so much joy throughout the winter. Cindy used to come and watch it at the window with me. It was just, it was just one of those things. And I cried for the bird. I cried because of all the joy we got from it. And I cried for nature and what we're doing to the planet. That there are so many anonymous creatures dying I don't know what caused it. Maybe it was old. Cindy said it might have been just an old bird. Or maybe in springtime, you know, the orchard started spraying. Maybe it ate some pesticide or something. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not pointing fingers. All I know is that this little bird that gave us so much joy died in my hand. So this video is a tribute to it. Okay. So we have a very sad thing today. I came out in the yard and there was a flicker, maybe one of the ones that we've fed all winter, hobbling about. So I've kept him in a box for a couple of hours like I was told to do. And I think he's just going to pass. Poor thing. Such a beautiful bird. 
Yeah, he's going. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You go find Grandpa, because he was feeding you guys all those years. And we fed him all winter. Yeah. Is this a boy? Yeah, it's got the red. Yeah. Poor oh, thing. Oh, Joe, no, 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 don't do that. No. Just, we'll just keep him secure. Yeah, I just... Don't worry, be happy. I love the white patch on her back. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Poor little guy. Whatever happened. I don't know if there's anything you could feed it. You can't eat if it's sick. Well, sometimes they use tweezers, whatever, to force feed it just to get its strength. Mm. I think that's the problem. But it looks healthy otherwise. It's okay. It's okay. Beautiful Look at the orange in its wings. So many beautiful colors and a beautiful bird. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay.